All right, let's do some failure analysis. Let's figure out why this uh, why this attenuator fails at 4 dB. Um, I'm sure everybody knows my story, but this uh, particular tiny SA has a bad attenuator. And its symptoms are that it doesn't know how to do 4 dB. So the most likely um, cause is going to be this chip right here, which is the attenuator. And it's most likely a solder joint. Um, probably one of the data lines. Um, I believe it has six data lines going in. So a six bit attenuator. And one of those probably has an unflowed solder connection or a solder bridge. So uh, we will take, uh, this is, the people haven't seen, uh, seen inside. I have a video on uh, me tearing apart this thing once before. But this is the uh, mixer and this is the attenuator. And so the signal comes in here, goes to the attenuator, it gets mixed with a signal generated under this can, and then it sends the uh, IF over to here, which has some uh, uh, bandpass filters and the uh, receiver chip. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get this under the microscope and see if we can't uh, can't see any strange solder things, and maybe we will use a hot air gun to reflow this and see. Uh, See if we can't fix it. First thing to do though is check for solder bridges. Those are easier to fix than, uh, than uh, cold solder. All right, uh, here's the part under the uh, microscope. It's a 4302 um, attenuator and it is no longer produced. It is a discontinued part. Um, and what I didn't realize when I first looked at the circuit was that the 4302 can come in it comes in one version, but can be used two different ways. Um, I've showed in other videos um, that the 4302 can be a 6-bit parallel input, but it also has the capability of uh, clock and data for serial uh, communication, and that's how this one's being used. So all of the parallel pins are grounded, and then uh, the three little pads there off to the left, uh, two of those are clock and data, so it has serial input. So if serial inputs working with all the other attenuator values and not 4 dB, then it's the bad, then the chip is bad. There's no, there's no way that solder can cause this type of problem, so it is a bad chip. Um, the signal comes in here, this is the low input on the tiny SA, this SMA connector here. It comes in and at first it goes through a blocking capacitor and it goes right into the attenuator and then the output of the attenuator is in the uh, upper left corner there. And it comes up here, goes through 3C36, and then continues up to, uh, uh, to some filtering and stuff. So anyway, that's, that's how the attenuator is used. So uh, the only thing that could possibly be wrong with this is a dead chip. So I'm going to attempt to desolder this chip and see if I can't put another one on it and bring it back to life. So we will see, got nothing to lose. All right, I've got one of these little attenuator boards here. I don't really want it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice this board to take the, um, the good chip off of this board, assuming it's good. <laughs> I've never really used this one before. I uh, bought it for a project, but I thought, nah, I'm not gonna use it. So uh, we will try to desolder this and uh, see if we can't move it to the other board. So, two steps to go wrong. One step to go wrong is removing it. The other step is to screw up putting it down. Sorry if I'm making noise right in the, right in the uh, microphone. There we go. So, the chip is off. That's easy. All right. Well, we will do the same thing with the tiny. Danger, danger. Do not try this at home, children.
my soldering iron on off switch is not reliable so uh oh I think I just oh there it is all right this is the bad one so I am going to put some ink on it so I know all right so bad <laughs> don't want to put the, the bad one back on that would be very very stupid all right so now let's take a look here and take a look I think there's enough solder on there that it just should go right back on again so I know people clean them off and put new solder on and everything but I think I'll just add some flux and wishful thinking and see if we can't get it back on let's put this flat and we will bathe it in flux there we go and we will take our known <laughs> unknown good chip uh, and let's see if we can't find let's see if we can't find pin one let's see pin one is there and pin one on the board is there so it goes like this Pin one, pin one. Okay. Let's get the reasonably lined up. And then the surface tension hopefully will be my friend. And we'll connect, connect the two. Oh. Uh oh, it's moving, it's moving. Oh, I have too much, too much airflow. That doesn't look right. Well, folks, I don't know if that worked or not. Turn this stupid. There's a magnet in this um, handle, and it doesn't always turn off. Uh, I'll just turn it off. All right, I think that's a real bodge job. I think I probably messed it up. But let's take it over to the microscope and see how bad of a job I did. All right, uh, it took me about two and a half attempts to get the uh, attenuator uh, solder down. I tried it once with their solder. Uh, I took it off, I, I, I cleaned it off with uh, uh, solder wick and leveled it. I put my own paste back down, refloat it again, and I got it to go. Okay, so uh, it does seem to be working now, um, but not entirely. So let me show you what happened. Um, we'll go to, so now uh, let me get, I have to do it with this. Let me get a stylus here. All right, so I do config self-test. So on test 10, it gives me single level critical. Um, so I don't know what that is. And it says touch screen to continue. 
and then it says test 11 attenuator fill and it's attenuator 4 again. So I've tried a brand new part and still I get a 4 dB step problem in test 11. But now I have additional information that step 10 is funny too. If I do a, um, a level cal, everything's just fine. So there's something else sick with the prop with the uh, with the tiny. It wasn't just the uh, it wasn't just the attenuator. So um, I guess it's going to be a broken one. That's too bad. I thought I could fix it. Um, I do have the new part in there. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is.